guys, it's your girl Ashley, and for today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get your own personal mantra and how to start one. Let's get into it. Dive in. Always make sure when you find a mantra that you're saying it in Sanskrit versus English. Sanskrit um, is an ancient language and it has a higher vibration, a higher frequency. So if you're saying it in Sanskrit, you're going to get um, a greater effect rather than uh, repeating it in English. A good resource, a good book to check out is The Healing Mantras by Thomas Ashley Farland. Um, it has a bunch of mantras and it has the definitions. It's important to know the definitions of the, um, the mantra that you're going to be chanting. So you're not just saying it, just don't say it just because it sounds cool and make sure you know why you're saying it and what it means. So I'll leave this book in the description if you want to check it out. I'll, I think I got it off of Amazon. I'll leave the Amazon link down below. Make sure when you're chanting or if you want to meditate, it does. it's not required or I wouldn't say not important, but I feel like it helps quiet down my mind, your monkey mind, um, by giving you something to focus on or something to hold physically while you're chanting your mantra. So this is how you hold a mala necklace. Um, mala necklaces, by, by the way, they have 108 beads. So make sure your mala that you plan to purchase has 108 beads so you can say your mantra 108 times. So when you hold it, make sure you're holding it by your middle finger and you're not using your pointer finger. Your pointer finger is your eagle. No. So then when you move it, so you're just going to say your mantra and you're moving it with your thumb as you move along here. Say it slow, say it meaningful, and say it thoughtfully. And have faith while you're saying it. And once you get all the way around, do not pass over the tassel. Just backtrack if you want to go 108 times back. But my master teacher, she said don't um, go over it. You just go back on the smaller beads. And it's just kind of, I guess, a marking guide, essentially to know when you're done, if your eyes are closed and you're like, oh, I hit the big uh, beach, so I, I'm done. Now we're gonna get into some mantras. I'll put the words on the screen so you know how to spell it. And I'm also just gonna tell you the meaning to make it super easy. So if you wanna write these down, you can go right ahead. The first mantra is Om Gum Ganapataye Namaha. And that just means the remover of obstacles and obstructions in your life creating basically a better path for you if you're going through hard times. The mudra you can use, I'm getting all these M words mixed up. The mudra is the Ganesha mudra, um, remover of obstacles. So you're just taking one hand over the other and you're cupping those. And you can just say and meditate it, just rest it in your lap. And say it 108 times if you're using the mala. Or just even set a timer. If it's, it's better for you to chant with a timer, set a 10 minute, a five minute timer and chant the mantra as many times as you can, very slowly, there's no rush for it. So actually I did a 40 day challenge and the mantra I chose for 40 days was Om Shri Rama J Rama J J Rama. It's kind of a mouthful, but um, I said that and I also used my mala just to kind of help me track it around. And when I said that mantra 108 times, that took me about 10 minutes. So if you plan to say that mantra, expect to meditate or sit there for about 10 minutes to say it. This mantra just means releasing everything and giving it up to the divine and um, Jesus take the wheel. Basically, you can handle it. I know it's I'm in good hands. You know the universe has my back. So that was a mantra I chanted for 40 days and I found it very helpful, very beneficial, and I saw changes in my life positively. Another common mantra is Om Mani Padme Hum. And I'm just going to read the definition really quick for you guys. May the jewel of the lotus of the heart shine brightly, connecting us all in light and love. So that one really touched your heart. Um, noted, knowing that the we are all connected and we're all going to grow into something magnificent, basically. I love that one. There are a bunch of songs, by the way. When you're looking for mantras, there's songs you can sing along to, but it's better that you chant them. If you need to listen to the song a couple times so you know how to say the words or the Sanskrit words and that helps you, then go right ahead. But then try to lean more into chanting it in your own voice. And the last mantra I'll share with you guys is Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu. And Garish actually um, has a song for this and it's really pretty. I should leave that one in the description. That's a really good one I like to listen to sometimes. Um, but it just means may all beings be happy and free and basically spreading equality. So if you're looking um, to manifest equality in your life, this might be a good mantra to chant. The key takeaways of this video is make sure you have your mantra, you say it in Sanskrit, and that you know the definition and the meaning of why you're saying it. 
Take your time to say it, whether you, if you use a mala to help guide you around 108 times or if you just plan to sit for five to 10 minutes, say your mantra. It can be out loud or you can just say it in your head and just mean it every time you say it and have faith that this is going to work and manifest in your life. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and helping you find a mantra, something to help you along in your life and get, give you abundance, love, encouragement to keep going on mantras always help and you don't have to set aside time to say it um, you can set aside time in the morning but make sure you can say it throughout your day doing daily tasks so like if you're driving or washing the dishes say it all day long and really mean it when you say it so i really hope this video is helpful like and subscribe leave any comments or suggestions down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye